Mina, um, who writes lots of stuff about words, one of her favorite pages, she writes lots of pages, is that page. And that page has just got one word on. She said, that's one of the best pages I've ever written. And in the middle is a tiny word, and it says Skylark. And Skylark, she's saying that word is like a bird in the sky. You put the bird in the sky, and it's like it sings. It sings at the top of the page, just like a word sings, like a bird sings in the sky. That's what she says about words. And that's what I think about words. Words are extraordinary things. Put them together into stories, extraordinary things. Another book that's come out just a couple of weeks ago is this book called The True Tale of the Monster, Billy Dean. Mina's interested in words. She does lots of things with words. Billy Dean is a boy who's brought up in isolation from the world. He knows nothing about language. He knows nothing about the world. But there's something about being human that drives us to tell our stories. And Billy can't write, but he still wants to tell his tale. So can he spell? He can't spell. So Billy has to tell his tale and make up the words that he spells. And he says interesting things about words as well. One of the people who, in the end, teaches him how to write is a butcher. And the butcher, in his butcher shop, has got lots of pictures around the wall of different animals. And he points to a lamb. And he says, that's a picture of a lamb, Billy. And that's how to spell lamb. How do you spell lamb? Yeah. L-A-M-B. L-A-M-B. And Billy looks at the word. He says, that's not right. How do you think Billy spells lamb? How do you think Billy spells lamb? L-A-M. L-A-M. And then the butcher says, oh, and that's a calf. How do you spell calf? Yeah. In the back, yeah. C-A-L-F. C-A-L-F. And Billy says, that's not the way to spell calf. How do you think Billy spells calf? How do you think Billy spells calf? Yeah. C-A-F. C-A-F or C-A-R-F. Because to him, that's the proper way to spell calf. And he says, he says, the way to spell things right often looks weirder than the way to spell them wrong. Which is true, isn't it? I remember as a little boy finding out how to spell one. And the teacher stood in front of him and said, you spell one with O-N-E. And I felt so disappointed because I thought, that's not how to spell one. You spell one with Otten, don't you? So learning to write and learning to spell are kind of weird. They're wonderful things. Learning how to use words is wonderful, but it's kind of occasionally very balmy. English spelling is very balmy. And it was lovely to write a book by a boy who can't spell because I thought, oh, that's quite nice because I'll be able to write as if I can't write and spell cough, C-A-R-F, and spell lamb, L-A-M, L-A-F, and spell one. How do you think I spell one? Or Billy spells one in here. Yeah. W-U-N. W-U-N or W-O-N, one. That's the way to spell one, isn't it? So Billy writes his story. So these are two books which are out recently. And um, this one's for older children, really, and for adults as well. In this one, Mina is... Um, Mina's a girl who doesn't want to go to school. She hates school. She hates teachers. She doesn't really like many people. But as well as not pretending not to like inside her, she really, really, really wants to be with other people. She really wants to be at school. She really wants to like teachers, but she's kind of lonely. She's on her own. And she spends ages writing a book, which is like a notebook, to write a notebook. And through the process of this, it takes her to the beginning of Skellig, which is the book that she, that she leads up to. Um, and Mina was a lovely book to write as well. She goes to a pupil referral unit and she writes empty pages. And she said, an empty page is like an empty sky waiting for things to happen. And if you think about that, it's wonderful. If I gave you all a blank page, on the one hand, you think, oh, that's really worrying because he's going to make me write. But also, if you look at a blank page and you've got a pen in your hand, and I hope you'll all do this today or sometime, you get a blank page, you put a pen in your hand, and don't think, I've got to write something fantastic. Just think, oh, I'll just play. I'll just write some nonsense. I'll just doodle and scribble 
and play because writing is very human, very ordinary, and it really is one of the loveliest things you can do. It can be hard, but it can also be beautifully easy and a kind of joyous thing to do, almost like playing football. I still love playing football. I don't play football so much now. And somehow, writing feels a bit to me a bit like playing football. It's been lovely to talk to you. It's great to be here. And I think we have some questions coming up. And um, thank you for listening. It's very weird talking to people that you can't see. But um, it's great to be with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.